December began with the news that John Key would be resigning from the position of Prime Minister effective immediately. And it was Bill English from Dipton who stepped up to fill his shoes, much to the delight of the Dipton locals. Oh yeah, no, I think he'll do all right. Yep, mate, he's uh, been in the game long enough now. I think I think he's uh, he'll be all right for the job. I think he's he's been there and had a go at it. Uh, I think now he's he's uh, learnt a lot since then. I think it'll be great. Yeah, great having a Southlander in there. Organisers of the postponed South Dunedin Festival came up with a new plan, a busking festival, and it will see a range of performers entertaining on stages in the main street. 32 McLarens were on tour in the South Island, worth millions of dollars. Unfortunately, one came to grief in Queenstown, and a Melbourne man was remanded without plea until January. The Tuatara and Southland Museum were getting more active thanks to the warm weather, and each year the community is asked to help with feeding. Uh, they sort of go through a starving period over the winter because in nature there's no insects for them to eat. So within the captive environment here we do the same and we don't feed them. So for the warmer weather, which we had at the beginning of the month, uh, they're all out and hungry. We've got our locusts, we had some hoo-hoo grubs, but we're totally depleted, depleted of the hoo-hoo grub population now. The high octane sport of drifting was held indoors for the first time, with burning rubber filling up the Forsyth Bar Stadium. The top four battles saw drivers showing how skilled they were at driving fast on a tight track. Cole Armstrong made the perfect start to the D1NZ Series Championship and was judged to be the best driver on the day. The finishing touches were being put in place at the entrance to Cromwell. What we're looking at, this is, this is a, the barriers now removed. People can see there's something there to go and look at. Um, and sure, some will just probably stop and get a photo of the fruit, but hopefully some now will, will say, oh, no, it's worth going in there and having a, a closer look. And finally, the Southland Regional Council went through an emergency response exercise to see how they'd react in a major oil spill. D. Karen, The South Today.